Um, you know, it's, um, you know, just so proud of our young men. I mean, you know, just, they, you can't win a game in, or lose a game in 30 minutes. In 45 minutes, you have to play 60 minutes. It's something we've preached since we've been here. And really, that's all I told them at halftime. And, uh, to be very candid, I felt like my, my heart got ripped out right before half on the uh, fumble for points there. And, uh, Felt very confident all week. Uh, that's the only time I started to waver a bit and just felt just so anxious and, and sick. But we uh, settled down at the, <coughs> the halftime and, and just preached to our kids, you know, play 60 minutes. We felt like we found something right before half, and that's one thing I was wanting to try right before half. Oh, and it caused us a fumble there, but um, ended up helping us in the second half and, and some things that we wanted to do to try to get some points on the board. But, you know, at the end of the day, it's just, uh, you know, we get in this job to to mentor young men first. And uh, I preach that to our staff, and I have the best staff of men that uh, you want your kids around. And, and these are great life lessons. Sometimes you're on the other end of it, and it stings and it hurts, and we've had our share of those, and we sure is good to to get them to experience uh, the other side of it. I give a tremendous respect to Coach Saban and, and Alabama Lady the Gold Standard uh, for this conference for a long time. And uh, it's, a, it's a huge win for our program, our fans. It's been a tr tremendous day. Uh, we have the best fans in the world. And, um, but the really, you know, the credit uh, goes to God's goodness to us, his favor, and um, certainly our kids. Uh, off their guts out. Raise your hand, we'll bring the microphone to you. Hugh, I'm assuming that you're referring to something you saw in the passing game. Can you talk about the second half that Bo had specifically? With, and then what it means for you to see him have this success with all the good Bo, bad Bo yeah. narrative that goes on? I appreciate you saying that. I don't, uh, I have respect for, for the job that you guys do. I know that it's, it's not easy. And, but uh, sometimes these kids take way more of the criticism than they deserve. And uh, maybe when, I don't know that they get the equal treatment on the other side of it, uh, and, it and I could be biased. But um, he managed the game extremely well for us. <clears throat> Nothing's gonna just jump out on the stat sheet that we're just gonna wow anyone, but that was kind of uh, the plan that we talked about all week. We really felt like our defense was good enough to keep us in it against a very, very talented offense that stresses you in all kinds of ways. And uh, he managed the game very nicely. In the second half, made some, some big time plays and really I thought had a couple chances for some more. Um, I, you know, I have to watch the film, but it looked like we should have called one on a little bender route that uh, we had a really good call for what they were in. And, and then I thought he threw a little, he had Laquan on a little double move on the sideline and maybe threw it a little bit behind him. But, but uh, man, just played so solid. And that throw, you know, that last touchdown, that was, that's the only, that ball was right where it needed to be for us to score. So can't, uh, you know, who knows what the next week holds. But I know tonight, uh, Bo played and led his team to defeat. Depends on which poll you look at, the number one or number two or number three uh, team in the country, and he deserves credit uh, for, for being a big part of that. You, what gave you that confidence during the week, and did you feel like your team had it too? You know, I, I felt confident all year, really, ever since fall camp. I really just felt like our kids, we, we had, number one, uh, defensive depth. And I know if you play good defense, you, you have a chance. and. Our special teams have been pretty solid uh, with the exception of here and there. And, but um, our depth over there and, you know, losing T and Chief and, and Carlos hurt it some. But just, you know, I see the accountability growing on our team. And if you have talent and you have kids that buy into a vision and are accountable to each other and, and hold them accountable to doing that, you know, there's good enough players on every team in this conference to win games. So. I've just felt the peace, except for last week. I said that publicly. I didn't feel, I felt very anxious last week with the Memphis game. Um, I did, but uh, this week I, I've enjoyed the heck out of it. I enjoyed the prep. I enjoyed, uh, my, our time was stressed a little bit among other obligations that Kyle gave me, but um, 
But uh, other than that, I, I was uh, I was real confident, and just I like the way our kids go about preparing for games. We don't you know, we don't get too too emotional or or, uh, or too dejected. We just kind of are going about our business, and you know that's what I preach to them every day. And here is man, just. The only thing you can control is staying in the moment for today and preparing for whatever's next.